Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss the concept of relation and function. Let us define first the relation. Relation is a set of ordered pairs. Recall that an ordered pair is a pair of numbers wherein the first number is called the x-coordinate and the second number is called the y-coordinate. In this example of relation, we have five ordered pairs. One, two, three, four, and five. Notice that the x-coordinates are one, two, three, four, and five. This set of x-coordinates is called the domain. On the other hand, the y-coordinates are 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. The set of y-coordinates is called the range. Aside from writing the relation as set of pair ordered pairs, it can also be written in mapping form. Mapping is a way of pairing x values to y values. Mapping also shows different correspondences. For example, when we say one-to-one -one correspondence, it means that each value of x is paired to only one value of y. In this illustration, say we pair 1 to 4, 2 to 5, and 3 to 6. It will form now three ordered pairs such as 1 comma 4, 2 comma 5, and 3 comma 6. On the other hand, when we say one to many correspondence, it means that one value of x can be paired to multiple values of y. Example, 1 can be paired with 4 and 5. 2 can be paired to 6 and 7. Therefore, it will make four ordered pairs such as 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 2 comma 6, and 2 comma 7. Moreover, Many to one means that multiple values of x can be paired to only one value of y. Example, 1 and 2 being paired to 5. And 3 and 4 being paired to 6. In this case, we also have formed four ordered pairs such as 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 6, and 4, 6. Finally, many-to-many -many means pairing multiple values of x to multiple values of y. Example, pairing 1 and 2 to 5 and 6. and pairing 3 and 4 to 7 and 8. Therefore, we can form here 8 ordered pairs, such as 1, 5, 1, 6, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 4, 7, and 4, 8. This time, let us define a function. Function is a relation where each value in the domain corresponds to only one value in the range. From the definition, 
Since function is a relation, we can say that function is also a set of ordered pairs. However, function is a special kind of relation in the sense that every value of x is paired to only one value of y. Therefore, not all relation can be a function. Let us go back to the correspondences earlier. In one-to-one, -one, we can clearly see that each value of x is being paired to only one value of y. Hence, this is a function. As for one-to-many correspondence, notice that each value of x is paired to multiple values of y. 1 is being paired with 4 and 5. And 2 is also being paired with 6 and 7. Therefore, since x is being paired to more than one value of y, this correspondence is not a function. On the other hand, in many to one correspondence, see that each value of x is being paired to only one value of y. Like 1 is being paired to 5. It is not being paired with any other value. 2 is also paired to 5 only. The same goes for 3 being paired to 6 only and 4 being paired to 6 as well. Therefore, this correspondence is a function. Don't be confused on this one thinking that this is not a function since the value of y is being paired to multiple values of x. Remember the definition of function? It states that the case is only for x and not for y, meaning y can be paired to multiple values of x. Finally, in many-to-many -many correspondence, it is quite obvious that this is not a function because looking at the value of 1, 1 is being paired with 5 and also being paired with 6. Therefore, this correspondence is not a function. Therefore, among the correspondences, the functions are 1 to 1 and many to 1. The other two are merely relations. If you were given set of ordered pairs to determine if it is a function or not, remember that the values of x should be distinct. Looking at this first example, notice the values of x are different. We have 1, negative 2, negative 4, 2, and zero. Thus, each value of x is being paired to only one value of y. Therefore, this set of ordered pairs is a function. On the second one, notice that zero is being paired to one. At the same time, the same value of x0 is being paired to 3 as well. Therefore, this set of ordered pairs is not a function. On the third example, we see that the values of x are distinct. We have 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6 although they are paired to only one value of y. But remember the definition of function, the restriction is only for x value. Therefore, this set of ordered pairs is a function. Moreover, if you were given a graph to determine if it is a function, the vertical line test is being used. Any function should intersect every vertical line at exactly one point. In this graph, notice that all vertical lines being drawn on the graph intersects 
the graph at exactly one point. Therefore, this graph is a function. The same goes for this graph. If you will draw vertical lines, notice that each vertical line intersects the graph at exactly one point. Therefore, this graph also represents a function. However, for this last graph, notice that vertical lines intersect the graph at two points. Therefore, since the vertical lines intersect the graph at two points or more than one point, this graph represents a mere relation. As we ended the discussion, remember that all functions are relation, but not all relations are functions. I hope that you understood the lesson, and for the next video, we will discuss evaluating functions. Thank you, and see you on the next discussion.